Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm Mark. I'm with Steve. We're talking about Final Cut Pro 10, and we're getting into title editing. Is that correct? Correct. Title editing. Um, what I mean is we have a lot of text in our projects a lot of time, uh -huh. and we need to make sure people's names are spelled correct oh, correctly. Oh, yes. Clients' products aren't misspelled. Uh, you know, you're responsible for that. Absolutely. You know, in the past, they, um, well, still in certain broadcast instances, there's a dedicated person that does um, character generation. Uh -huh. That's all they do. In fact, they're unionized. That's all they do, and they're responsible to make sure everything all spells correctly. Spelling correct. is correct. Okay. Right. Now, you being the editor, you're responsible because you're actually editing the text. Yep. And you're it's easy to make a mistake. It is. So, I'm going to show you how the timeline index can actually help you, well, lessen the possibility of embarrassment or, at worst, getting fired. Great. All right. That'd be <laughs> should good? be useful. Yeah. All right. So, let's, uh, let's just dive in. So, I'm going to go ahead and open the timeline index by pressing Command Shift 2. And we looked at this in the last session on the timeline index. I'm mainly interested in title, so I'm going to forgo all these other buttons, make sure clips is selected, and go right down and click titles. titles. Okay. Now, I'll start with the top. If I so click, this is a list of I'll, every I'll, title in your project every, in order? That's right. Every title in my project in order. So, for example, I select the cupcake. That's the intro title, the, the opening title. Okay. Notice selected. If I press the space bar, I'll see that that's, in fact, the there opening it is. title. Okay. Uh, it doesn't look like it's spelled correctly. Um, I know it doesn't, but uh, that's the character's name. Okay, that's little, actually on purpose. Yeah, she's a little tweaky. I know it's going to be weird, but that one's supposed to be misspelled. Okay. okay, thank you. Thank you for pointing that out. Okay, so I'm going to jump to the next title. And I always like to press the space bar to confirm that, yeah, that's the title I'm looking at. So I'm just going to just click and notice over here, as I do that, the playhead actually just jumps and, and, title. and highlights the title that that is. Now, because the plate is parked before the title, I'm not seeing anything. You have to hit the space bar. If, if the title's being animated on, you're not going to see it when you first just select the that, title. That's correct. Okay. A lot of times, if you've done your homework and you've typed everything correctly, you can actually see in this list here what you're looking oh, for. Oh, you see the spelling right there. Right. It says Rachel. There's Rachel Edels. I know I need to uh, work on that because I was told by the client I misspelled her last name. Ah. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and press space bar, and that is, in fact, uh, the Rachel Edel's title. Now, notice I can move my mouse into the viewer, and immediately I can double-click and start editing. Yep. Right there. Yep. I have one problem, though. Um, there's a lot of Edels in this project. So you've spelled that last name wrong for multiple people multiple, in multiple titles. That's right. As a okay. matter of fact, if I jump over to, let's see here, uh, her brother, Zion, you know, he does the camera. He's okay. an um, AC or a camera assistant, and look, he's, he's so you were too. consistent, but you were consistently wrong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Now I could go in here, and I can you know fix double click. One. I can fix each one, but yeah. there's a much better way. Of course there is. There Otherwise, is. why would we be here? Why would we be here? So what I'm going to do is go up to the um, edit menu, and I'm going to just choose find and replace text. Find okay. and replace title yeah. text. Yeah, and you got okay. this little window here, and look, uh, look, the little gremlin's already entered. Um, some uh -huh. stuff. I'm going to go ahead and clear this out here. But I really want to find the misplaced, uh, the spelled, so I'll type in E D D O L S. That's the misspelling. The misspelling, okay. Right, and I want to replace it with the correct spelling, E D D O L L S. Okay. Right? Now, all I need to do is click this button. Replace all. So it looks through the entire project and replaces every instance of that word. Every instance. In fact, if I jump back to the Rachel title, both Rachel Edels are now spelled all correctly. Fixed. Right. If I jump to the next one, there you go. I can just keep going. Uh, all they're all fixed. So just like you would do in a text document, a search and replace function right. built into your editor. Right. But I'm showing you how to do this in combination with the timeline index. Yes. So that's you see very how cool. fast it is to jump your playhead yeah. to a title. Edit it, change it, move it, change the color, whatever. It's and already selected. And you know you're getting every single title. If you're doing it by hand in the timeline and scrolling through some big timeline, you might miss titles that are really short or placed somewhere else. But here, if you're just hitting the down arrow to select each one of the timeline index, you know you're checking every single one. Absolutely. And, and again, I mentioned in the last timeline index episode, th this, is, this is unique to Final Cut. You don't find this in any of the other editing software. Sweet. And I find it extremely powerful and utilitarian. Just another great feature. Another great feature. Great. Thanks, Steve. And thank you for watching MacBreak Studio.